Hey friends, it's Heidi with Happily Thriving Heidi and today on my channel I have a new episode where I'm going to show you all how I made this super cute farmhouse basket and this super cute farmhouse basket. Now if you don't already know, I am co-hosting this really fun challenge with my friend Holly. If you don't know who Holly is yet, no worries, I'm gonna link you down below to her channel. She is adorable and if you love farmhouse, you are gonna love Holly. So make sure you check her out at the end of this video, linked down below. Now what if I told you this basket what if I told you this basket was made from painter sticks? Because it is. I took a trip to my local home improvement store and I picked up several packs of the painter sticks. To get started, you're gonna take a miter box, your painter sticks, and a little handsaw. And I'm gonna just cut off three inches from the tops of the paint stirrer stick. And this is because I'm gonna be using the smaller sticks for my green basket that you saw me holding up at the beginning of this video. Once I get those all cut off, I'm gonna go ahead and just sand them down so that the edges are nice and smooth. Now I cut about 30 of these for my round basket. I think I might have done like between 30 and 35 because I wanted to have some extra on hand. And then I went ahead and picked out a really pretty green color and I was debating between green and a light teal color because I love the idea of doing green because I could use it for Christmas too. So I went ahead and decided to go with green. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just lightly brush these painter sticks. I don't wanna have too much paint on here because I want it to have that weathered look. And the cool thing about these painter sticks is that they actually absorb the paint so you can still see the wood grain coming through. And I really love the way that looks just overall. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plow through all of these sticks. And I'm not gonna just paint one side, I'm gonna paint the back and the front of them because I wanna make sure that when you're looking at the basket, you still see the color on the inside. So here I am once they've all dried, I'm just gonna flip them over and then paint the other side. And like I've shown from before, I'm not painting the whole thing fully, I'm just doing rough brushes on this so that it gives it that paint feel but there's still a lot of splotchy spots. Now on the white it really absorbs a lot into the painter sticks so I'm just going down only the middle of those white painter sticks and just giving one more little coat of white paint and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. But can you see how the wood is coming through? It's These are like the greatest things to paint with like farmhouse decor because it sucks in the paint and it leaves that wood grain still. So I'm curious to stain these and try this for another project with like wood stain. I think it could be really pretty to stain them. Now what I'm gonna do is I found this wreath at the Dollar Tree and there are four circles on it. I've already cut it apart. Here you see me cutting apart the last two. And you're just gonna take wire cutters and with some pressure, it's not too bad, but as you're cutting through all four rings, your hand can start to hurt a little bit. So maybe just take a break or get someone who has a stronger hand than you to cut this. But you're just gonna cut off all of these little jump divider rings that are in between the big circles because you want them all to be separate. So one of these wreaths from the Dollar Tree actually works for two baskets and you're gonna need two rings for each basket. The two small inner circles are for the white basket and the outer bigger circles are for the green basket. Then once I'm all done cutting those apart, I'm gonna lay them down on foam cord board and I'm going to trace the circle of the smaller of the set. So if I'm doing the tall white basket, I'm taking the smaller most inner circle and I'm going to trace that around for the base of, because it gives you basically the sides that you need for the base of your basket. And then for the other basket, the green basket, you're going to do the outer circle of the wreath. I hope that makes sense. Then once you get it all cut out, you're going to stack those two on top of each other because remember you need two circles for your base so it's really strong. You're going to just glue those together. And then once you get those together and nice and firm, you're going to go ahead and take your ring and you're going to lay it back on top and see how it fits like it's the perfect size but it's a little too snug if you're going to put those painter sticks between the two to glue them together so i'm going to just shave off a little bit around you don't want it to be too much because then the band won't be 
as tight around the wood sticks and this is what's going to make this basket super sturdy. So I've cut just a little bit around so you can see that you know there's going to be room for me to be able to put these painter sticks all the way around the basket. Now once I'm all done doing that I'm going to take those circles because I've got my measurement right and I'm just going to use this drop cloth that it's a painter's drop cloth and I'm going to hot glue it on both sides. So I'm going to glue it on one side and glue it on the other and as you cut the, the drop cloth it can pull and shrink a little so you're just going to have to stretch it when you're gluing it down. Now this next one is a little more time consuming out of all the things that you're going to do for this basket. It's just you having to take long strips of twine and you're going to wrap it around the metal ring. Now you can skip this part, but I will tell you that this makes it look so much just higher quality and it looks like it's store bought and it doesn't take that long. Just put on a movie and you're going to hot glue it to it and keep wrapping it around. Now the next step, this is really important friends, you're going to take your painter stick and you're going to lay them out almost like a sunburst because you want to see how many sticks you're going to need to be able to reach all the way around the basket. This is going to allow you to be able to know your spacing and just so you don't have any like weird gaps and big holes on certain sides of your basket. And then once you do, you're just going to stand them up and glue them to the foam cord board. Now because you doubled up the foam cord board on the bottom, it's going to allow you to be able to have a bigger surface to hot glue these sticks to. So as I'm working my way around, I'm just making sure they're glued on really well. I'm giving a nice amount of hot glue on it and I'm just putting them all on. because I wanted to be able to shift around those last ones to make sure that the spacing in between them looks good and it doesn't look, you know, kind of a mistake. All you have to do is just pull off some of them and this is why I made a couple extra. So once I get all of those glued in, I'm going to take that ring that I've wrapped in twine and I'm going to go ahead and just push it down to the bottom. Now this should be a snug fit, which is really good. That's what you want. You want it to be nice and snug so it stays in place and then it makes this basket surprisingly really sturdy. Then I'm going to just take my hot glue and I'm going to put some hot glue around underneath the ring and I'm going to slide it down so it's really tight in place. And once that ring is all done, I'm then going to take the larger ring. Now this is when you're looking at the ring going from the outside in, it's the second one in on that metal wreath. So you can tell that it's wider and it's not as wide as my basket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side and pull one out and glue it, go on the opposite side, pull out another one, go on the and then the opposite side. Of that. So just think north, west, south, east. You're pulling out all those opposites and then you're going to start gluing in all those middle sections. Make sure you hold them in place for about 10 to 20 seconds each that way so that they really dry before you try to move on to another stick because otherwise they keep popping off. So once you've got that all done, to make it the strongest you can make it, you're going to take another piece of twine and I like to wrap it around my basket twice to make sure I have the length right because you want this to be one continuous piece of twine so that you don't have to cut and make it you know, weaker, it's stronger when it's one piece. So I'm going to go behind the painter stick, put a dot of glue, go under the wire and repeat that. Okay, and then the finishing touch, I just took two pieces of twine the same length and I tied a simple bow and then I'm going to find the prettiest side of the basket that I like and I'm just going to hot glue that bow on. Yes, you could skip the bow, but I just think the bow just adds a little something extra and then you're just going to cut off the twine and there you have it, a cute farmhouse basket. Thank you so much for watching this video and being a friend. If you haven't already, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel every time you do. It means so much to me when you do that. Now, if you are new to my channel and you have not clicked that subscribe button yet, friends, don't forget to click the subscribe button because I have 
so many more fun projects like this coming up this fall season. I also, in another week, will be starting my Room of the Month series and I am taking on my part two of my kitchen. Plus, I'll be revealing the team that will be playing along with me for the month of September. So I cannot wait to show you all all the fun things I have in store coming up this month in September. Also linked down below in the description box is the playlist of all the other women that are going to be playing along in this challenge. So make sure you check it out. Thank you to everyone who did play along. I cannot wait to watch all of your videos and be inspired by all of your really creative ideas. Until the next one, bye friends.